Hmm, I wonder what will happen if I stick this into here. That is not good. This appears to be a bad situation. This has evolved into a big problem. Gordon is leaving the building. You better not laser zap me. You better not. Don't think about laser zapping me, bro. Don't think about the- Okay, I got zapped by laser. I should have saw it coming. There green lasers going everywhere and stuff is exploding. Hmm. I see you have teleport. People- uh. What is this? I don't know what this is. Hmm, could this possibly be Zen? Weird squid thing. Be here. That is a bull squid, by the way. Hey, it's the water gun. Well, technically, Gordon's not supposed to know about what about these at this point. He doesn't know what these are. Whatever, these are Vortigons. You better not touch me, bro. Unforeseen consequences. Yeah, I was unforeseen, gotta admit that. Well, I foresaw it because I've played this game before, so technically I know of the future. So, th more like those were foreseen consequences. Alright. Hello, everybody. This is Tyler. Welcome to Black Mesa Part 2. Um, I noticed how the volume was a little too high in the last episode, so I've turned it down. Um, I've made sure that it's not too low, so they're visible. Well, yep, that was the Resonance Cascade. This second, yep, I know it's unprofessional, but I'm gonna raise the volume a little bit. So it's more visible. But. Yeah, so, in the original half, there's a dead dude in here, but let's open this door and let's get out of here. Alright, yep, see, so yeah, I can press control to crouch. So, in the original Half-Life, there's a scientist doing CPR on a guard here, too. But if you wait a little a, a while, the guard gets up. I've waited a while in this game for, and he doesn't get up, so I'm supposed to steal his med kit leave. There seems to be a fire. Oh, I say it's more than a, a biohazard one that we have here. We have a explodified scientist here. Lasers going off of there. And most importantly, someone knocked over this trash can. That could, that's littering. Can't do that here. Uh, this, is a, this is a green facility. We are environmentally sound here. My boy Eli's and Isaac. I tried to warn him. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Hello. My Schrodinger's cat. He's alive. Go I am alive, and I'm on top of. Thank God for that hazard suit. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. You need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. Ah! My God, what have we done? It's a head crab. We can't afford to waste time. Believe me, for the retinal scanner. I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along the way. Well, that's if the science team isn't dead. Keep that suit on until you're in the clear. Second, I must speak with Izzy, the or Dr. Kleiner, because he calls him Izzy, I don't know, or what do I call him? Dr. Kleiner! What an interesting anterior. I wonder You're looking at the head of it. Ooh, the stomach is, I don't know. You might be in it, though, if you don't watch yourself. Hello? Ooh, you certainly went out, don't you? My, you're a cute little thing, aren't you? Why not cute, Dr. Kleiner? You're, I'd you're weird. I almost hate to have to dissect one of these. He better not. Don't accept that as your pet. Okay, now he no, nothing more to say. Eli, did you open this? You seem to have a giant laser problem. Lasers are good, fun, uh, common, so that guy tell. We do a lot of, um, we're laserologists here. 
I think uh, there's a good chance he is dead. Oh. Well, I'm gonna bring this along with me. Here. That's pretty bad. Merry Christmas. I swear I've heard that unauthorized biological det forms detected in Sector C. I heard. That'd be a head crap. Let's, let's pick up the pace. I swear I've heard that message before in a Roblox game. So there's one of the innovation ones. If you know, if you know what Roblox game I'm talking about. Delay. See, I, I told you we have a, we have a, we, we like lasers here. Oh. Oh, he's dead too. Everyone's dead. So if you notice, this game kind of waits a while. It, actually, in the original Half-Life, this way you got your crowbar right here. You get break this window. This game waits a really long time before I've given you a weapon, by the way. Even longer than the original Half-Life. Hmm. These people seem to need D Freeman's rescuing. You won't die. You'll really die. Yeah, you're gonna die. I'm not sure how that didn't kill me by standing in front of this glass when that exploded, but whatever. See, you didn't die. They'll be fine. We don't need to go down and check on them. I'm pretty sure that they look fine from here. Gordon? Gordon! Man, am I glad to see you. What the hell are these things, man? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? What if they are the science team? Haven't you ever seen a zombie movie? Yeah, let's go. See, look, this is a zombie. Oh, that that that, that 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 that's a that's definitely a zombie. I did not expect him to get up. See, it's called you you shoot them. Again. One down and hell if I know how many. You know how to reload there? You seem to have a problem with your arm. Alright, come on, sir. Let's get going. We have places to... We have things to do, places to be. Ooh, a flare. A used flare. I'm waiting right here for you. No, you come. Get on your game face, Doc. You come with me. Sing it. This place is in bad shape. <laughs> We don't need to be in here much longer. I just need to get that battery. All right, sir. Come on with me. We're going on an adventure. Hey, look at that gas. Well, I think I'm the one who did the most stuff there. I literally threw the flare into that leaking gas pipe. Yeah, he's pretty dead. Let's go. Did you walk into the fire? I can see why you're a security guard here, not a scientist. This shit is something out of a sci-fi movie. Agreed. Got anything in there? I don't see anything of use. Come on, let's let's go to the cafeteria and see if that guy's microwave casserole is still there. I, I don't. I'm. Well, let's see if Doctor Magnuson is your thing in here yeah I think the radiation the microwave really got to that casserole because the casserole is not like crap cooked head crab may I interest you in some cooked head crab well seems as if no one is interested in the cooked head crab Sorry, Doc. No, it's not cooler if you hold your gun like this. Come on. We gotta give someone the cooked head crab. It's a rare dialect. You really, you, 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 rare thing. You rarely get to eat okay, it. Okay, Doc. Grab what you gotta grab, but don't dawdle. Will you, sir, be interested in okay, cooked Doc. head crab? Grab what you gotta grab, but don't dawdle. I, I, I don't think he'd like the cooked head crab. I don't think anyone here likes would want the cooked head crab. That's sad. It took a whole like five seconds to make. I wanna bring this around with me. Someone will. Oh, we're up the bathroom dude got on the bottom. Well at least he got to use his toilet paper. Reload, reload. 
I need you for later. Ow. Shoot him! I thought you... Like that, huh? I had to run into that thing, save you. Well, looks like he did use the bathroom. Depending on how long he's in there. It took me like 20 minutes to get down there, so he must have been in there for a while. Alright. Well, that's a complete waste of time. Let's go. And almost... I, I lost more health than I gained there, so... Come on, sir. We're going on an adventure. I need a flare just a second. Come on, sir. Could be the torso of a zombie. Coming for us. Alright, come on, sir. We're going. Over here. C commit shoot. Oh wow, you you're you're being a real help, aren't you? We good. Let's continue. Or do your thing. Okay, I'm gonna try to call for help. Yes, commit call for help. You gotta get to the admin office upstairs. I do. There's got to be somebody there who can fix this. In the admin office, or the administrator know how to fix this. Come in, anybody. This is Sector C Anomalous Materials. We have an emergency situation here. I, I think emergency is an understatement. Code red emergency situation here. Code red is like Code Omega Uber Red. Possible bio con contaminations. I, I think we're past the, the possible stage of. Well, let's see. Hey, my boy, the security guard. He told me I'm late, late for late for work. No! Goodbye. Oh, that's what you give me. Tell me I'm late for work, bro. Oh, there's a head crab in ass. So he says admin officers upstairs. You're not gonna pick up if they tell if you talk to them like that. Mm hmm. Is anybody reading me? Yeah, no one's reading you, bro. I'm gonna go to the admin office just like you told me to. Come on, let's go. So I'm gonna talk about how like there's no fire alarms or sprinklers in here. Like this is a top of the line research facility, yet we there's no f um fire alarms or sprinklers. Or I guess there are fire alarms, but where are the sprinklers? In this room. Like, this is a severe code violation. Like, this is the 9 millionth code violation of the day right here. Them be zombies. Give me that crowbar. What? You better not, like, zombie me, bro. I got a crowbar. I'm not afraid to use it. Let's go. You, you stay back. Huh? Yeah, you, you, you tell that head cop to stay back, bro. Don't, li don't let him get to you. It's all about too early, bro. Yep. You're a zombie. You celebrated too early. Probably like this guy, but he celebrated too early, too. What's going on over here? What are you watching on this computer? I think your computer's a blue screen. Oops, sorry, that I set you on fire. Yeah, I think you blue screen your computer. Yeah, if you should get that checked out. You should call, like, a technical support. Like... I know this guy in tech support named Raj. He will definitely help you. Shoot, so the line is over here. Dial. Eh, I'll give the phone to you. You dial tech support anytime you want. I say he's pretty dead. You dead? Can I have your gun? Have your gun. Okay, I guess I can have his gun. That's sad. I still have my crowbar. Got it. Maybe I am tech support. I was able to fix that by just plugging it in. Have you tried restarting the computer? As every a poor technician would say. 
See, this is why we need sprinklers. Like, look, the, the, this zombie would not be on fire. He'd, he'd be a zombie, but he wouldn't be a, a fire zombie if we had sprinklers in this place. How is this dude still alive? Oh, now he's dead. He ragdolled. I'd say it's gonna say he 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 no longer with us. Ooh, battery. Give battery. See, we have the sprinklers going off in here. Mm -hmm. Where they don't need to be. There's no fire in here. It's fr it's literally frozen in here. This is the room where you don't need sprinklers. It's literally snowing in here. But yet in that that con uh, the computer room, there's like there, there's, there's no it, that, that 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 room is exploding, and yet there are no fire sprinklers in there. See, th th this must be a code violation. Get a booster. Vaccinated, get a booster. Well, that's a, that's a great poster. You see, see anti-vaxxers? Yo, the, I, I, I bet that, ha, ha, that... That's how you get people with vaccinations. Just, just get a poster with a rocket ship saying, Vaccinated, get a booster. And the, boom, the anti-vax crisis is done. You know? Alright. Well, you know what they always say, don't get in an elevator when there's a fire, or a disaster. But, I'm gonna get in this elevator, because I feel like it. No me gusta that sound. I'm, I'm not a big fan of this sound. Alright, through this... Oh, I'm sinking. See, that's, and that's why they tell you not to ride in an elevator during a disaster. Because you, you'll fall for, like... Like a dozen yards and survive, and well, you probably won't survive because I got my my high-powered body armor, and I'm pretty sure, unless I'm a little behind on the times, that uh, most people don't have high-powered body armor when they're uh, in an elevator. Alright, I'm just gonna uh, pretend I didn't see that and uh, continue on with my day. That's a brain. That's an eye. That's a that's a liver. Not sure what that is. It's a it's a heart. Everything disappeared. Wait, the heart disappeared. What? Okay, there's there's some cover up going on here. Truth's out there. Why did his heart disappear? It's because Obama. That's why his heart disappeared. Obama did it. See, I told you Obama would be here. G-Man! Okay, yeah, he gone. He doesn't like me. He, he won't like me until I kill the nylon. Hey. Don't give me tinnitus. Bad, ho bad hound eye. Tinnitus sucks. Bad head crap. I hear Zombo. Commit die. Hear that zombie? See, I said commit die and that made you die. It wasn't the fact that I whacked you with the crowbar. You know, it's me saying commit die. I'm gonna turn this because it, it looks cool and there's a red light. Well, hot water feed valve one is no longer a uh, red. Hello? Is anyone back there? <gasps> a person! Oh. Thank God. Listen, I know where you can find some more weaponry. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. What do you mean my crowbar's the- I think I'm ready. The gulp. Yeah, I'm not gonna. It's snowing inside, because that's possible. Come on, buddy. We're going to get myself some armor. My crowbar is the best armament we'll ever have. That thing's Keep there. Hands away from that gaping maw. Yeah, nobody. You ain't, you ain't gonna zombify me or Dr. Bob today. See, I told you, Dr. Bob, you're safe. But you're not gonna congratulate me for causing you to not be zombified? Oh, safe haven. He dead. I don't think it's safe haven. No. Oh. Well... At any rate, 
Give me the health. Over there's the weapons I spoke of. That ain't a lot of weapons, some blood here, so I guess he tried to use a little bit. Ooh, a grenade. And the pistol. Well, this episode's been going on for about 20 minutes, and I uh, got a pistol, and we're in a safe place. I just want to stop I that, you know? For excitement today. Oh, believe me, um, you haven't had your fill for excitement today. To stay if you want. Oh, yeah, I'll stay till the next episode, buddy. I'll stay. Do you have anything else to say? Yes, I'll secure the perimeter. Yes, secure the perimeter. What is the perimeter, though? Explain. Measure this room, tell me the perimeter, and then secure it. You scout on ahead. This is as far as I go. Yeah, you moved like a, a picometer. Alright, well, this is Tyler. This is Black Mesa, episode 2. I'll see you in the next part sometime in the foreseeable future. It'll be out before Half Life 3 does. Black Mesa, part 3 will be out before Half Life 3 does. Possibly. Maybe. Or because, you know, this is Valve we're talking about. I, maybe I've been infected with Valvosis and cannot talk, cannot count to three. Well, s possibly see you in part three if I don't get Valvitis. It's highly probable that our luck will change. Don't you agree? No, Dr. Bob. Our luck will not change. Hopefully my internet will allow this video to be uploaded. That's lucky. See you in the next episode. Bye bye